right, I have Miss Katrina Moore. She's gonna help me out this morning. We're gonna do some, uh, some shadow swings. Uh, some of you are out there and you haven't been able to participate in tennis and you're looking to get back out on the court. Well, why not take some swings and we're gonna look at that pattern of how to swing together. And there is a connection that I want you to make with your legs as we swing. So um, let me back this up a little bit more so we can do this together and we can see feet. And uh, Katrina is going to be slightly behind me. So come back here and you can follow me in this. And what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a continental grip. That's when the racket is straight up and down. For the most part, your hand is on the top. Your, if we call it, if we counted that top bevel, um, Oh, you know what? There you are. If we counted that top bevel, that would be one. Your knuckle on your index finger is on the second bevel. If anything, you just know you're holding it straight up and down. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to hold the racket with two hands to begin with. There's a right leg goes out. On screen, it may look backwards because you're looking at the left, but as the right leg goes out, the racket goes out, and then we're going to come right back. We're going to advance this as we go. Right leg and racket, and come back right leg and racket and come back and now we're going to follow through right leg and racket the left leg steps forward and we swing but it's a half swing we don't go any further than that with the continental right leg and racket and out and we come back right leg and racket and we come back after right leg goes out with the racket left leg steps forward as we swing right leg and racket there we go we do a couple more of those Notice how the racket head is out to the side, as if I'm pointing out to the side at the level the ball is. It's not up above, I'm not ra raising it. Out to the side and through. And again, right leg and racket out to the side and through. Slide over a little bit. Right leg and racket. Okay, so that's our continental grip. The follow through is only to about halfway and then we bring it right back into our step. Right leg and racket. Now we're going to go Eastern where our knuckle is and that racket is up and down. We're going to turn the racket now. So it's on a 45 degree angle. This is our Eastern. The racket is standing up a little bit higher. And as we take it back with that right leg, the racket stays at the same height. It started. Look, it's a little bit higher than the continental. So let's do that again. Right leg and racket. It's a little bit higher. Right leg and racket. Let's do that again right leg and racket and now we're going to step through with the left so it's right leg and racket's high but now we've got to bring it down first and then we step in and through eastern shoulder brings the racket back with the right leg drop and through right leg and racket drop and through right leg and racket drop and through a couple more Right leg and racket, drop in through. This is the Eastern grip. The shoulder brings the racket back and through. Right leg and racket and through. Okay, we're gonna go to the semi-Western. If we pick the racket up flat from the ground, we'd put our hand on it. Our hand always remains on top. We don't curl our wrists. But the racket now is in a very open position for top spin. And how we do this is a little different than the other two. As the right leg goes out with the racket, we put the racket on a fence, like we're putting it on the fence on a side. So let's just do that much. Right leg and racket, it's up on a fence. Right leg and racket, it's up on a fence. Here we go. Right leg and racket. At this point, we bring the racket down almost as if it's hiding a little bit behind us. So what that does is it drops the racket flat. We're going to give it a little turn or flick back as we step forward and then we brush forward. And this is a follow through. The Eastern is a follow through too. We'll do that again in a sec. But racket is on the fence. Bring it down and back. It should be looking down like we're bouncing a basketball. Look where my left hand is. My left hand reaches out. We're giving it a little flick back. A little flick back. That flick is connected. You wouldn't see it in full motion. Fence, slide, we call it. Flick back and then swing through. Fence, slide, step forward and through. Let's go back to Continental. Out to the side, forward. Continental again, follow me, out to the side, forward, it's a half swing. One more Continental, forward, Eastern, it's higher. Shoulder, 
out with the right leg and through racking in right leg and through there's a little bit of drop and a follow through here tipping that racket up we've changed the grip down and through on the fence slide and through fence slide and through very good let's go back to continental we're going to go to the backhand two-handed backhand i'm going to slow it down here a little bit left leg and racket and the racket goes out it doesn't go back let's just do that much left leg and racket the racket doesn't go back left leg and racket now when the right leg goes forward that's when the racket goes back right leg goes forward and the racket goes back and then we would swing and bring the left leg forward we're going to slide back left leg and racket right leg goes forward that brings the racket back and we swing let's do that again left leg and racket and i can leave it here until i'm lined up with the ball as far as i need to go but as soon as i'm ready to swing and i take the step forward with my right leg that's when the racket goes back and then i come through and i need to bring the left leg through so i can get my body to turn into the ball let's do that left leg and racket back with the right leg and through left leg and racket back and through and again left leg and racket back and through we do a one-handed back end very much the same the left hand is in the throat of the racket when the left leg goes out the racket stays when the right leg goes forward the racket goes back but now we don't rotate it's only arm and we come back left leg goes out with the racket and i can hold it here until i've gotten to the position that i need to be in front of the ball i'm lined up with it back as the right leg goes forward and then swing let's do that in full time so left right swing and again left right swing again left right swing so let's start over again really quick through each one continental racket is straight up and down right leg and racket step forward and swing let's do three of each right leg and racket step forward and swing right leg and racket step forward and swing eastern it's high as it comes forward out with the right leg it's high as it comes out with the right leg shoulder brings it back and through right leg and racket now we're going to semi-western we're turning that racket it's looking flat down fence slide step forward right leg and racket on that fence slide step forward and through fence slide step forward and through backhand continental again two-handed backhand left leg and racket right leg and through left leg and racket right leg it goes back and then through one more like that left leg and racket back and through and let's do one more left leg and racket right leg and through and then the one hand left leg and racket right leg but now we don't turn our body the body doesn't turn left leg and racket right leg it brings it back and through Let's do one more left leg and racket right leg and through no body all right so that gives you something that you can do at home you can walk through these run this again and again and uh, get those shadow swings going and understand the difference in each one of those grips and how the swing is handled all right and thank you katrina for joining me on that she's going to be in many other videos with me and uh I look forward to uh, having her out here. If you have any questions, please let me know. Anything you'd like me to do a video on. If you like these videos and these tips, uh, please subscribe.